Hey, in this video we're going to talk about how to find out where your website is being hosted. My name is Travis Flans of WebWorks of Kansas City, and that's right, uh, a very common problem that we run into with small business clients, new small business clients, is that sometimes they have no idea where their website's being hosted. Uh, and this usually happens whenever the website owner or business owner had an employee who no longer looks works for the company, set up their account and build their website, or they worked with an agency who may not really uh, know everything that they're supposed to be doing. So um, in this short video, we're gonna talk about how to find who is hosting your website. Follow along all over social media with uh, WebWorks of KC and use the hashtag WebWorkinIt uh, to join in the conversation. So let's go. We're here at Google and um, you can simply type in who is hosting my website? And the first thing that pops up is the website that I use most often, who is hosting this.com. So let's just click on it here. And uh, you can see it's pretty simple. It gives you just one little entry box to search. And I am going to enter a website that I own and I know where it's hosted. kcdogclub.com and we're just going to hit search so uh, as we scroll down it gives us a little bit of an ad here um, which uh, funny enough SiteGround is where I host but the reason I chose KC Dog Club as an example is because it says the hosting provider is single hop now I know that I pay SiteGround directly for my hosting services and that's where kcdogclub.com is located but SiteGround is a reseller of SiteHop services. So if you search for your own domain name and we find that it's SingleHop, so let's go visit SingleHop now. And the website opens up here and, and we see that, you know, if you are like, hey, I don't remember this, that's fine. Uh, they have a chat option here. Um, and every website will have a, and every hosting company will have some way to contact them. Now, if you contact them and say, hey, um, I don't remember where I am hosting my website, I think it might be you, or one of your resellers. A lot of hosting companies purchase their server space and their resources from another company. So it's not uncommon that you may be using a reseller of another company. However, if you contact the, the company that you found through whoishostingthis.com, they should be able to direct you to the reseller who is hosting your account for you. So when you get your email back from uh, the hosting company that you found through whoishostingthis.com, just contact the reseller uh, the same way and say, hey, I think my website is being hosted with you. Uh, will you please help me log in? And so through that process and resetting passwords, etc., you should be able to find out uh, exactly your username, your password, and how to log in to your web host. I know it's not a simple process, but I really hope that just talking through this can help you out. Well, if you had no idea where your website was hosted, hopefully you found it. Um, again, it's not 100% foolproof, but uh, hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, let us know in the comments below. Uh, also, feel free to give us a subscription and uh, hit that bell so we get the reminders. Um, and if you have any horror stories, I always love to hear horror stories of people starting out. So if you have any horror stories about losing your domain name or your website or your web host, let us know in the comments below too. And we can laugh about all the experiences we have when we are starting out. See you in the next video.